Everybody, welcome to Tayana and what to do. Today, today I was here with Tommy Balligan. That does. And I'm an artist. I want to know who is this Well, when I first started building this piece, I didn't have anyone in particular in mind. But I've noticed a lot of times when I create artwork, if I'm not visually looking at something or using something as a visual reference it tends to lean towards a self-portrait it tends to look like me because you know a lot of times if you don't have anything to reference you know your face the most and so a lot of times um, it it'll turn out to look like me so for the sake of the question I'll say yes <laughs> does it need anything it does um, I created this piece um, just to reflect the struggle that African-American women have sometimes um, in embracing their natural beauty with their hair, especially. When I was a little girl, I had natural hair for a while, and then I, my hairstyles would change. I would get a perm or I would get braids, but I never liked wearing my real hair out. And so this piece here rep represents how through that change, that we are who we are, like our hair is a part of our roots, it's a part of our heritage, it's innately a part of who you are. And so the flowers represent kind of breaking through the ground of that resistance of self-love, of loving who you are um, just naturally, who you were created with nothing added to you, nothing taken away. How long did it take to make it? Ooh, this one took, um, I would say this piece took approximately three to four months, three to four months to build. And this, this piece has a special story behind it. All of my pieces have like a particular story, but with this piece, when I created it, um, I, it was my first time building a human form from clay. And so when I built it, I built it solid. And so um, I had an instructor come and she said, um, we can't fire it, we can't put it in the oven because if we do, it'll explode. And so she told me to start all over again. So technically this is the second piece. And so when she said that I had been building it for like maybe several weeks and so I had to demolish the whole thing and start over. And so without knowing how, without any instruction of seeing no one teaching me how, I had to build this piece literally from the inside out, like a vase. So like a vase and just build it layer by layer by layer, starting with the neck and then finally building it up to the face and then really hoping that it didn't cave in. And then we fired it and it didn't explode. And so it's here today. How did you think of this idea? I always thought that there was a connection between like natural beauty and nature and how and humans in nature period and so when I would see braids or cornrows or women with their hair braided sometimes it would remind me like the different designs the way that they looked looked like tree roots and tree branches and how they made different patterns along the ground and so that's where this kind of came from um, you know this piece is titled branches and braids and so um, this theme you see a lot throughout some of my paintings and it's just that whole you know metaphorical play on you know how we are naturally beautiful women period all women is this your butt painting that you ever did honestly I don't know I don't know but it's one of my favorites I think it's my favorite because to me this represents a struggle because I remember building this whole piece once and then having to demolish it and build it twice. So um, I think it's my favorite because at the time when I was building this, a lot of people were telling me, no, it's gonna explode. You shouldn't put this on it. That's gonna be too heavy. And I just went with my gut and just continued to make it and it survived. So I think that's why it's my favorite. Could you name one of the material that you had to wait for this? Can you, that? Could you name one material that you had to make? One material that I've used to make? Um, 
This is made out of clay. And so clay is definitely one of my favorite mediums to work with because it's so forgiving. And I think that has a lot to do with how we as people should be. You know, you can build with clay and it may not turn out the way you want it, but then you can just reform it again. And it just continues to shape. And I think in life, that's how we are, we grow. You know, we learn to forgive ourselves through our different struggles. We learn to grow as people. And so I think that's why I like clay. There's just a nice connection there. Well, well that's it for today, guys. Bye.